Alrighty, um, if you clicked on this video, there's probably a fair chance that you're wondering why people like me um, use Arch or really any other Linux distro over like Windows or Mac OS. Um, and usually it's for a few or all of the following reasons. So they use it because they're, you know, heavily into coding or software development. Maybe they're working for a comp company or maybe they're like, you know, developing their own projects, side projects, stuff like that. Um, it could be that or it could be that Linux is really lightweight and they're trying to use it on an old laptop. I know I'm using it on like a very old ThinkPad um, and it runs much better than Windows or Mac OS. It's much less bloated, that's for sure. Um, and then also that it's customizable. It's extremely customizable. As you can see here, I'm running DWM um, and ST terminal. Yeah, so you can literally just customize literally your whole um, desktop uh, window manager, literally just in one file. Like you can just change up a few things. Um, actually, I don't even. Literally, you can just change up a few things in one file, um, and then basically you can make everything your own. So as you can see in here, you know, I've changed some of the color schemes and made it, you know, what my own and what I like. I've added this like lambda icon here. Um, let me just exit this. So yeah, that's one of the other reasons it's very customizable. I'm pretty sure that's quite well known in the, in the uh, community. Um, and also that Linux is free and open source, meaning that um all the code that goes into the linux kernel or really um yeah the linux kernel um is open source meaning anyone can view it um almost anyone can contribute to it so really you always know what's running on your system you know basically no matter what that means there's like no spyware no bloatware being put into the um into the operating system that you don't want and of course it's free it doesn't cost anything to download you don't need a key to activate uh, Linux like you do with Windows um, and that's really you know our main reason now I might go into a bit of depth on a few of the points here um, as I said in the first point was coding and like development software development I know for me um, I know for me I'm developing my own little like program um, it's like a quantum computer simulator. You can go check it out on GitHub. Um, it's free and open source as well. Please give it a star. <laughs> um, yeah, but like this is my own little program that I'm developing now. Um, and I use Linux because it's really great. It's like integrated really well into the development environment. Um, a lot of development tools are built specifically for Linux. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't even get some of the development tools on Windows and Mac OS or it's like quite hard to install and get working but within Linux you literally just run like one command um, literally just this and then whatever here and then it, it installs whatever package you want as long as it's in the um, repository there you are whatever it is so I can just show you how fast I can get into a file here And I'm in. I'm ready to start development on this. You know, it works really well. It's quite um, a productive setup. Um, terminal tools work great in Linux. Um, I used to use Windows for some development. It it wasn't the greatest experience. I'm not gonna lie. I think Mac OS and Mac was better. Um, I have used both Windows and Mac, so I guess I have a say in this. But yeah, it's great for coding and development. Um, it's extremely lightweight, like if I do NeoFetch, did I? Yeah, if we just NeoFetch here, um, as you can see, I only have 8 gigs of RAM in my computer, which isn't the greatest. Um, currently, I've got my recording software open, Firefox, and this terminal running, and it's only using about 2 gigs of RAM, which isn't really too bad. Um, yeah, and it's running on a, a quite an old ThinkPad as well, so yeah. Those are two of the main points. Um, as I said, it's very customizable. I showed you a little demo. Um, you can pretty much customize everything about your system. I know if you want to go, like, Arch is really customizable, which is what I'm running now. But if you want to go a step further, you can install a distribution called Gen2. I'm pretty sure that's, like, really, really um, lightweight and sort of bare metal. You can pretty much customize anything um, in Gen2, as far as I'm aware. Same goes for Arch. 
as well but i'm pretty sure gen 2 is known for you know all of that good stuff um and pretty much the last point is just free and open source like if i go here um to github i'm pretty sure linux is on here if i just look up linux yeah yep here it is linus Torvalds, the the absolute genius himself yeah so you know i can go into here and i can literally just look at all the source code um for this beautiful operating system which is amazing and i can't really do that for windows or mac os i think i think mac os might have something that's open source uh darwin i think it is it's like some sort of kernel yep yeah darwin i don't know yeah darwin kernel by mac from for mac os or sorry by by apple yeah i'm pretty sure this is like the only thing that's open source and i don't even use it anymore as far as i'm aware so yeah those are really the reasons why you know i use arch or linux in general or why a friend of yours might use arch or just really anyone that you know uses arch or a linux distro those are really the main reasons um so yeah, maybe you'll make the switch if um, some of these points apply to you. Uh, it's certainly worthwhile, certainly worth learning, you know, how to navigate your way around the terminal and Linux in general. It's got tons of shortcuts as well, especially using DWM. Um, really, you could just go onto YouTube and look up a tutorial. I mean, there's like a thousand tutorials to configure and customize, set up Linux. So yeah, you're definitely not on your own. Alrighty, well, I'll see you in the next video.